five past 11 and I am in North Wales. It's a really lovely campsite, what I've seen of it so far. We were supposed to be staying in a caravan, but they told us that our oven wasn't working, so they've upgraded us to a luxury lodge. So we're very lucky there. It's really lovely in here. I will upload a tour of the lodge. But yeah, so far, so good. We left yesterday around four-ish, uh, maybe about half four actually, um, once I finished work. And we did stop on the way to get a McDonald's because we wouldn't have had time to cook. So we got here roughly about quarter to nine, so it was a fair run. But yeah, and after that, by the time we found our caravan, because that was a bit tricky, trying to find the right one. And then by the time we put all our bags in the caravan and unpacked and everything, we was really tired. So we just ended up having a night in um, and watched a bit of Guardians of the Galaxy and Gogglebox, really. What more can you ask for? And yeah, had an earlyish night. And we've been up bright early this morning. The coronation is on. We've watched a little bit of the lead up to it and we've just had a lovely big breakfast we, which I will show you. We've had nice croissants, um, crumpets with the king on, <laughs> king's crown and some Oreos and just bits like that. It was really nice. Um, but yeah, we're all ready to go now and we are heading off to Chester Zoo which I'm very excited for. I wanted to go for the longest time so I can't wait. But yeah, come along with us I guess. Chester Zoo. Here's the lovely boat ride we did. What are your thoughts so far, George? 
Yeah, we're very impressed. Here comes the boat ride that we just did. So yeah, very impressed. We've seen some bats, we've seen some baboons. Yeah, very impressed. We have to say, one of the best zoos we've done, do you reckon? Can't tell. I'm finding the zoo best. Very good. How are you finding it, George? It's best zoo we've been to, yeah, I would say. I think so. It's amazing. And really Dublin good. does take some beat in, doesn't it? It does. We just saw a massive orangutan. Didn't manage to film it because he was on his way in. Hopefully, we get to see him on the other side, but he was massive. It's huge. And we saw this giant monkey as well that's swinging up onto the glass. Here's it, of we're by the monkeys now, you can just see them coming.
these. There's not many in this part here, but there is one just west and up by here. There is. Okay. me one bit because it was amazing literally more or less anything you could think of was there it was like it was, it was just so good some really amazing animals that you know you don't see don't see don't see in quite a lot of zoos actually so yes i will insert lots of footage but we've had a very very good day but we are so worn out my advice would be get there as soon as you can we did aim to get there for 10 which is open in time but by the time basically our shower the hot water wasn't working so the man had to come over and fix that this morning so that did hold us up a little bit and then by the time we had our breakfast and stuff we did leave a lot later than planned and we didn't end up getting there until about 12 um and it shuts about half five and we was literally there from 12 until half five and we'd just managed to finish it all but that was with us like yeah we didn't really stop we just kept going more or less all the way so i would say if you go at 10 you should be able to have a little bit more of a leisurely time but even then i still think it's very hectic and they're even they've got a new area they're making a new african area which is coming in 2025 and I, I think it's big enough right now, to be honest, it's quite hard to do it all in a day. And I just can't imagine how long it would probably take you if that came as well. I think to do it really leisurely, you could do with two days there, but I know that's probably not really the case for most. So yeah, you just have to carry on, but massive zoo, um, but definitely amazing. Best zoo I've ever been to, I think I'd say. How about you, Jord? Oh, the best in the world. Yeah. It was. Been to everyone, I guess. <laughs> that is brilliant. Yeah, it was fab. So it's 10 to 6 now. We have walked our legs off, so I don't think we are in the mood to cook tonight. So we're hoping to eat out somewhere. I don't know where, but I will show you when we decide. to 12 we are just about to leave the caravan we've had a very chilled morning which i feel is like what we both needed we were just so tired from chester zoo yesterday so we've just had a chilled morning we've had some breakfast and i actually made some coronation cakes i would have done them yesterday but we didn't have butter so i've made them today um yeah little cute cupcakes so we made a few of those and yeah we've just been having a chill morning as i said 
So the plan for today, we've got, we think we're going to go to the beach. There is a beach, literally a five minute walk down the road. So we're going to go down there and have a look around. And then we're going to head off because we are actually going to Greek Castle today. I think that's how you say it, in Abergelly. So very excited for that. We've booked a tour at half one um, because that's where they filmed I'm a Celebrity um, when they did it in Wales. So we're going to go there. We've got a guided tour. Apparently, I think all of the old props are still there for when they filmed it. So I'm very excited to see that. And then hopefully, if we've got time, depending on how long it takes, but hopefully we're going to go to Land Dead Know then for a look around. So a very exciting day. The sun is shining. So, yeah. Rather excited. And yeah, excited to go, get going now. So let's go. It's 20 past 12. We've just had a lovely walk on the beach, haven't we, George? Oh, yeah. Literally right behind those sand dunes behind us is a gorgeous beach, which is just a five minute walk from the campsite, really. Very lucky, lovely sight. And yeah, what a glorious day, isn't it, George? Beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, where are we going now? Abergelly Castle. Yeah, um, Greek Castle, I think that's how you say it. Um, where they filmed I'm a Celeb when they did it in North Wales. So, you looking forward to that? I uh, am, you know. Yeah, me too. And yeah, we're just on our way back now and we'll be heading off. So, yeah. See you when we get there.
okay so we've just finished the tour we've just got back to the car yeah it was really good um found out lots of facts like danny miller who i believe won it he comes back and visits regularly because he's got a caravan not far from here and he was here just the other week actually with his family taking pictures so that was really cool another fact that i couldn't believe was when like they pump in the hot water for when they want showers and things and this is the same in australia as it is here when they like riding the bike to get the hot water and pumping it basically they're not doing that at all the production team just switch on the boiler and they get hot water but they're none the wiser so they think they're working for it but they're really not they're just switching on the boiler which i thought was really funny um an interesting fact um but yeah we got to see where Kerdwin's shop was and we got to see not all of it is real like some of the walls had been put up poorly for the show and obviously they were not real they weren't made out of concrete they were just um false walls which it was crazy like some of the things they but yeah it was a very interesting tour um i would recommend it it was really good and yeah we did get a couple of things which i'll show you later john's got it and he's gone to the toilet but yeah we are gonna head over now the time is half two and we're gonna head over to land now for a bit and have a look around there so we'll see you when we get there Okay, so it's 10 to 5. We have literally just walked a part of the mountain to have a go on the cable cars in Andadna. And we've just been queuing for about 20 minutes. And they've come over now and said that the winds at the top of the cable car are too high and it would be unsafe for us to go on. So they've sent loads of people away. Really gutted, aren't we, George? Oh, yeah. for about half hour, didn't we? Yeah, well, 20 minutes, I just said. <laughs> um, just our luck, though. Can't believe it, but... We're going to walk down now and go on to the pier for a bit and have a look on there. So let's go. seven and we're just on our way back we're about five minutes away so whilst we are on our way home well back to the caravan i thought i would show you what we bought earlier so they had lots of i'm a celeb merchandise i bought this little cledwin postcard i just thought it was funny to put in my all about me but this is only a pound so i thought well, why not um and then and I'm a celebrity getting out to go marking it. How cool is that? So we thought that's really cool. That was £3.50. And we also bought a picture that we had then on the green screen. How cool is that? It looks like we are in the camp. So that was about £10, a little bit pricey, but it's a nice little memory. And you also get downloadable ones online as well, which we've also got them as well, so that was pretty good. So we then headed over to Landed now, and we had some lunch and wear the spoons, and then we queued up to go on the cable cars, and we was 
we'd queued for about 20 minutes but then they told us that it was too windy and they couldn't do any more so that was a bit gutting so we then had a look around the pier had a drink on there played on a couple of games in the arcade and then headed back to the car and we're just on our way back now um, it's been, it feels like it's been a really long day but it's been a really nice day very much enjoyed it so we're just on our way back to the caravan now and I think we're going to head straight out um, and see what entertainment is on and hopefully, fingers crossed, tonight we can get a seat. We'll see. So it is quarter past ten. We're all up, packed up, ready to go. How sad. It's gone so fast as it always does, but we've had such a good time and we've been really lucky with weather really up until now. It's well. It's a bit wet out there, but it isn't raining currently, so that's not too bad. But yeah, we're going to head into Wrexham today and have a look around there and then head home for the four hour drive. Yay! Um, yeah, so that's what the plan for today. Let's get going. Insane views. Would be so cool to canal over this. How cool would this be to do it this, Jord? Brilliant, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd be so cool. Yeah. Amazing.
Okay, so it is 25 past three. We've just come to the land, Gothland Aqueduct. I'm not sure on the actual name. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. But that was really something, wasn't it, George? We enjoyed it, didn't we? We did. Made us miss Canal, Canal End, didn't it? Yes, we'll do it again. Yeah. Definitely. And I definitely would like to go over that at some point. It's incredible to think that they can go over that. It's just amazing. All that water over that big viaduct. Crazy. Um, but yeah, it did start raining as we were walking over, which was a bit gutting. But we powered on, didn't we? We did. The heavens opened, didn't they? It That's did. Them. And then we was lucky enough to spot a canal boat as we got over the other side, just about to go over. So we got to watch that. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. Hopefully one day soon. And yeah, we're just on our way back now and about to head home. But what a holiday we've had, isn't that right, George? To come back. Huh? Yeah, it's been amazing. So much to do up here. We've we're definitely impressed and can't wait to come back and do it again. Hopefully in the summer we can return and do some of the things that we didn't manage to have time to do this time. Isn't that right? Correct. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it now for our North Wales adventure. We are going to head home now. Hopefully it shouldn't take us too long, but we'll see. So nothing more to report now. So we'll be heading home. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next weekend actually with Pembrey. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you then. Bye. All right.